that he can sign up? Should we sign him up because he's always 20 minutes late? <laughs> and then gripes because he didn't get to sign. <laughs> You will not talk over me in this meeting tonight because everybody will be heard. Now, if we start this meeting tonight, we're going to do the call the meeting to order. And then since the first agenda item that is on here, you will have the chance to speak during the three minutes or you will have the chance to speak before the agenda item. Now, let's call our meeting to order. Mary Lou Brown Smith. Here. Ronnie Colbert. Here. Barbara Norris is not here. In case y'all don't know, her mother passed away over the weekend, and please send her prayers to her. Sharon Reed. Here. Diana Chun. Here. We, Mayor Walker is here. We have four present. Therefore, we are able to go forward with a special meeting. Now, if we will, we're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. To the American flag, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, and one and indivisible. Ronnie, if you don't mind tonight, would you mind saying a prayer for me? Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to be here. I pray today, God, that you would lead us, that you would guide us, you would help us to have good attitudes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We have public comments. I love to see everybody here and signed up to speak. I love to hear what the community has to say. So we are going to go in order. Missy, have you got your timer ready? I do. Three minutes begins. Eddie Mildred, we're going to let you go first. You can just stand up. If you think everybody can hear you, you can go to the side and speak. My name is Mildred Martin. I'm responsible for sending out all those flyers today to, uh, so people can read about this meeting happening tonight. I thank you all very much for showing up. And as far as the things on the agenda on the roads, my question to this council is, Who's responsible for the roads? Is it the inner city local agreement for repairing the roads, or is it the city? We're not allowed to answer. You want me to answer, Paul? <laughs> okay, I'll answer. We have an interlocal agreement. I don't need an answer. Okay. Well, if we have an interlocal agreement, I'll answer if I want to, Mildred. I and we have, an, we have an interlocal agreement with the county. That's what we have. It was signed April. 17, 2017. By Larry McMillan. Okay, yes. and so my question is, if there's an inner city local agreement, then why are we paying from the city of Paul Road to do road repairs in signs? It only covers 50%. We're responsible for their own signs in our city, Mildred. Okay. They don't provide our signs. Okay, and the road repairs? It's supposed to be 50-50. Okay, and at this point, they have not stepped forward with their 50%. And the county doesn't do it, it's, uh, it's the city's call to do it? If the county doesn't honor their interlocal agreement, we'll take the steps necessary to see that they do. That's what this gentleman down here is for. Okay. Thank that you. is the city attorney. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Calvin Nelson. I asked you today in the commissioner's court if you, I showed you the flyer and you said that you was going to close some of the roads coming out. I said the council was yeah. going to take a vote. Right. And my concerns are not only for the people that live here, the people that do business here, but my main concern is for the children. The bus routes was established two weeks ago. All the buses come out and did their runs. And if Y'all, as a council, vote tonight to close those roads and put those kids at danger on the roads that you're going to send them down, which are not, the roads you're closing is better than the roads you're going to put them on. And if anybody wants to disagree with that, I, I would like for them to, to do it at this time. Otherwise, I believe as a city, 
it puts you at risk because the first two buses that passes the culvert down there on Plum Grove Road and one of their back tires falls off and the bus turns over and kills about 10 kids, I believe that it's going to be look very bad for our city that we close a, a good road to deter them down the road that is not even impassable by small cars and trucks. And, you know, I've lived here 20 years. I'm not an old timer, I don't guess. But I live here. My wife lives here. My kids live here. In the city of Plum Grove? Um, my mailbox is in the city of Plum Grove. It's right beside Mr. Enlow's and Mr. Clay's. Uh, so I don't know where y'all city line. Y'all city's lines changed where before. Did you uh, 210 County Road 3470. It's right next door to Jake Clay, across the street from Danielle and Mike, uh, is where my mailbox is. Well, it's a simple answer if you live in the city or not. Are you planning a tax to the city of Plum Grove? No. I'm not, but my mailbox is in. It don't matter. Okay, is there anything else your time is going, Mr. Nelson? I'm just very concerned about y'all closing road for school buses, not to be able to get the kids to school. Well, I'll answer that Thank question. You. Thank you. Thank you for coming and voicing your opinion. Um, I spoke to the Cleveland ISD secretary today. She worked for Chris Wood, superintendent. Her name is Susan R. I told her that due to some things that have come up in the city and for safety after what we've experienced over the last couple of weeks, that it is too congested at the main road. The road that you're referring to is was not approved, Mr. Nelson. This council turned it down and denied it. The developer built it anyway and opened it without this city's consent. You have to have this city's consent to open that road. Now, be that as it may, when you have 40 cars in the way of the road trying to turn into the new school road, the road that you're talking about, the private road, whatever road he wants to call it, I call it the illegal road. First of all, Mr. Wood is not the superintendent. I mean, he is the board of directors. And Mr. so Wood they will be the they will be let know they are aware of the meeting tonight will be made and we will give them the roads that are shut off and they will talk to the bus barn. Now what will happen as it's has happened in the past is that we know the road is right there. Well when you have thirteen cars there, and what would you say the fleet of school buses is? Forty, fifty school buses? Well they're all gonna line up. And they're gonna transition in that very dangerous transition out this road now. The intersection of the lot. And what's going to happen is they're going to back up. So if we put another culvert right beside it for another road, which makes a lot of sense. Um, well, that's not, that's not what's here. We're discussing the roads that are being closed. So we're going to have, what we will have is we'll have the road come around, and you're going to have school buses exposed. What we're trying to do is cut down on the congestion in the north part of the city and move it to the south part of the city. But I have spoken as far as what was sent out and it's going to affect the emergency vehicles that was our first person we spoke to was our fire chief and our fire department the gates will be breakaway gates that they agree with not every road is being closed this is inaccurate and as far as the school buses go they will be made aware of it they understand we've approved 500 million dollars in bonds for those children half a billion dollars and they understand that their safety is our first concern. And they will be happy to cooperate with us when we set the new roads. And so, next, we had Danielle and Lowe. Me, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, y'all can fill in this area. Yeah, as long as you don't. Danielle, are you going to hold off until the agenda item? Okay, I'm going to go back and check your name. Now, if for some reason you feel like I pass you over later, you say, Mayor, my tire, Brianna Randall. Yes, ma'am. So, like, what Calvin was saying with the, the school buses, if that's going to be concerned of, like, blocking, I know that Splendora has, like, an alternative route where they let the buses go and they block the roads for them to go to get out. If we could do the same thing, like maybe use the fire department or some of the police, help like the congestion go in, onto the road without blocking the road off. I'm just wondering if that would be a possibility if we consider not blocking the road. I don't guess you understand, but it's okay. I'm 
I'm not going to say it will not, cannot happen in the future. Yeah. I'm not going to say it cannot happen in the future. But for the time being, the answer is no. Because you would have to find, somebody would have to pay those officers, and the fire department can't take time away from fighting fires and saving lives to direct traffic well, they have for Tommy jobs. Rich. They have full-time jobs also. But in the, in the event things come up and things work out, it's always a possibility. Yeah. We always have possibilities. Is there anything else? No. Miss Cindy Navarro? Me. Do you need a translator? Uh, I, I try in English. So okay, okay. <laughs> My name is Cindy Navarro. I got four children. Uh, I live in for two years this area in Camino Real in 198 Road, Cleveland, Texas, 77327. Uh, it's very important for the Light semaphore, this area. But I got accident, hubo accident, the people spani, I got the truck like this, but I very important the light, the fem semaphore. I don't She's know. trying to get a light, light for like the fire okay. department because when the fire department comes out, she was saying she says that if something has to be done, it's too cluttered back there. Yeah, it's very important. The Gosa Street, the Charrele, I don't know how to say it in English, but... She says that she understands. Tú tienes que ellos quieren cerrar para arreglar las calles, pero no van a cerrar todas las calles. Oh, okay. Okay, she says she understands what you guys are trying to do to make the corrections, mm -hmm. to okay. fix the roads, which will help with some of the congestion that is holding up all the traffic, because if the roads mm -hmm. are not fixed, it's always going to be clustered because all the traffic. Oh, she's supporting us or yes. against us? Yes. Thank you, Ms. Maria Cerredo, okay, for translating. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I am one of the four children. Yeah, she has four kids. She, under, she said the roads. Que yo dije que tú estás preocupado por las calles sí. porque así se mueve más rápido el tráfico arreglando yes. las calles. Thank you. Sí. Is she done? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yes. Mr. Allen Barton. Okay. <laughs> My one thing is, how, by closing these roads off, are y'all going to be able for public safety and to repair roads? If you put all that traffic on these roads, on Plum Grove Road, how are you going to repair it? I do not see how you're going to be able to repair it by putting all the traffic, cutting them out of the subdivision, and putting them up and down this road. Well, he has now, Alan, I mean, I'm not sure if I got this Right, but I was told. Oh, so going to be five roads. I was, am I correct on the picture that I got today that Mr. Harris has said that no Nobody's commercial, allowed no commercial trucks would be on that road unless yeah. you have a permit for him? For him. Well, that's a city road, Alan, and we give those permits, not Colony Ridge. Yes. That's a city road? Yes, it is. It's in our city limits. It's an illegal road because this city is Okay, well, there wasn't there a road there before? Yeah. And uh -huh. when Mr. Dalton. Oh. Now, y'all shake your head, Sharon K. There was a road there. There was a culvert that went. No. It was not the Spears driveway. And then Mr. Dalton had a small road on it, Alan. They had a timber easement road that went in there. But in that one, it was one private family, Alan. But when it's 20,000 cars pulling out there on Plum Grove Road. Okay. And another thing. If y'all y'all had three years to fix these dead gum roads, if you had that road fixed right there, there would not be no backup between here and there. If that road was fixed, they could get on out of there. But the road is so dead gum rough, you cannot fix it. No. Well, y'all been three years. We understand that. We have been fighting with Liberty County to do their 50-50. And until they can come up with the 50-50, we just started collecting sales tax, or just collecting taxes, period. What about the FEMA taxes. money? The what FEMA? FEMA won't be FEMA's FEMA's not going to fix it. FEMA will not cover that. Damage, the the damage did not happen during Harvey. The damage happened May 7th in Imelda. I have satellite imagery to prove so. It is in, it is in the FEMA portal. No, Alan, we do have, Alan, we do have money from FEMA, but it's not in our account. It's in FEMA's account. And two of the things we can't fix is until, listen, two of the things that we are trying to fix is we can't fix because Colony Ridge's drainage is so horrible that our engineer cannot even perform an H&H &H desktop study 
because he changes the drainage back there so often. So after three years, Papa Al, we finally, the EPA, San Jacinto River Authority, along with our water attorneys, FEMA, RMP Corps of Engineers, Tatum. Have, and Tatum have all gotten with the county to address these issues. The county finally gave us drawings for our H&H. &H. Okay. Yeah. okay. One other question. What caused all of this to come up? The school, the traffic, it came up. No. Leanne, do not sit there and lie. Do I was not lie. in a major accident there Saturday. Okay, oh, but had nothing to do with it. I was the president. That's, that's every day. Okay, that's every day. okay. Every day. enough. Yeah. And I'll answer that. Alan, what I thought it could come up is we've had three weekends of traffic backed up all the way to Mary and Brian's house on a Saturday morning, and you couldn't get out. It took 45 minutes because of that new road. And the other reason, Alan, is that gentleman that's pulling that dirt out, he had, he's in the city limits of Plum Grove, and he got permits to pull out there and come out there on his road. He tried to work with them, and they turned him down. Competition, I guess. I don't know. But we can't, he has every right. He got permission from the city to come out on that road. The dump truck driver did in his city. That road from Trace was turned down in August and said no. He built it anyway illegally. He opened that road. There was no service road, Alan, around to those roads. There was no road that went to those communities back there. That's a new road to those communities. They were using okay, the road in I, front I, of my house. Can you get it? The roads past that go to the community back there, they are not got nothing to do with the city of... Their Plum entrances Grove. into our city do. They do not... They were not in the city limits of Plum Grove. Which they? ones? The one that's on the back side of there. No, those are not being closed, Alan. There's still five roads open. We're not closing yeah. all the roads. I'm not saying they're closing them, but yeah. that road that comes off comes does not go... It's not part of the city. Which road? Still, no, time's up. Which at the time's corner, up. at where the Calisac is, on the road, on the very first road. No, that's not in the city. But once you get to Donald Inlow's property on up, that's in the city. Okay, the city. if you look from right there where that Calisac is, you'll see a dirt road that goes up through there. That dirt road come from right there at Plum Grove Road, right where Trey put the concrete road in goes straight up there to that dirt road. Were we any of us using it prior to when he paved no. the road? No, but it sure helped a lot of them using it from coming in front of your house whenever well, they opened okay. it up. It doesn't matter if there was a private road there before or not. Once it attached to our roads and they opened it up, it became illegal. Okay. They did not get the permits or the right the abilities to be able to open that road. Y'all need to research that. We did. I just, we did. Just that, did. That's so, what he does, LeBron. He's an attorney. But, again, Alan, you have three minutes. Out. If you've got anything else, okay. Thank you for coming, Alan, and saying your part. Kayla Nelson. So my name's Kayla Nelson. I've lived here since I was six years old. And mine also is on the road. So if you're saying that that is a private road, correct? The road in question? The it one has that? a sign up. So it's a private road okay, within correct. the city limits. Right. So if those people have permission to drive on it, why is it an issue? Because he was not given permission to build the road in the first place and access Plum Grove Road, our city road. So it was denied by this council in August of 2019. He built it anyway illegally and connected illegally. Okay, so if it was not illegally connected, it would be fine? If he comes back here and got the right permission, but he hasn't done that. It was denied. And he opened it on December 24th of 2019 over a holiday weekend when all attorneys would be gone. And he opened it without our permission. There were barriers, and those barriers could stay there forever, and everybody could have used it. But he did not have the permission of this council to open it. Okay, I don't want to spend all my time arguing with you, so I want to get on to my next point. My next point is, I under, like you said earlier, I understand that the city has to buy signs and supposedly rocks to barricade things. And I know that that does not cost a lot of money in the grand scheme of things, but to fix the road. But I, maybe it's just me being young and ignorant, but I would think that if we saved our money to go towards the roads instead of spending things on like barricades for the church loop were unnecessary, dirt to once again barricade the church loop, which was also unnecessary, um, signs everywhere. 
But until the drainage is fixed and until the traffic is fixed, what little bit they do to repair our already bad roads, it's not going to hold up. The first water and the first drainage out yeah, there. Yeah, because when they're fertile, it goes away. All right, so then my last good point after that. is today, this afternoon, probably two hours before this meeting, I understand that y'all are voting on for whether to close the roads on this meeting. The council will be voting, correct? Yes, when you learned about it. No, ma'am, I knew about it days before, but I'm saying, correct, you're voting on it tonight. Yes. Okay. Um, so it has not been okayed or turned down, but then why are people out there surveying to already close down the road when the meeting has not happened and uh -huh. it's not That's your not our people. That's we don't, not have, people. We don't have anybody surveying anything. Donald Inlow doesn't help work for you and put dirt on the road. No, they, they were measuring the depth on the culvert. Well, they they were measuring the depth on the culvert for his buildings that he's putting out there. And his and that is private but property. That, that, it is private property. It belongs to Trey Harris. It's not us. No, it belongs to Donald. But we're not. We're and are not you a representative of Trey Harris? No, ma'am. I represent myself. Okay. Well, well, I mean, you're speaking for him, so I just wanted to ask. Well, if I, no, I don't agree with everything he does, and I don't agree with everything you do. But in this situation, I would agree with him about the road and not you. Okay. Well, I wish you'd have been at the meeting in August of 2019, because that decision's already been made. He put his road in illegally, and now it is being addressed because of the traffic and congestion it's made. Is there anything else? What is your time? She's done. You're done. Thank you for coming. Tatiana Albiter. She said she's not going to talk. You don't want to speak? Why? No. Don't be afraid. No, she's like, no. to get up here and say your words, the better off you'll be. Okay. She's like, no. Are you sure? Do you want to save it in case later? Okay. Donald Inlow? Okay. Mira Acevedo, Maria Acevedo? Yes, me. Okay. <laughs> First of all, we wouldn't be having these problems with the illegal road or the regular road if we would have did a traffic study, an environmental study on a phase one to know what we're going into in the population. So let's stick to the facts here, people. Everybody's taking sides here. It's what's right. Who's being affected by this is Plum Grove's roads, the community. Also who's being affected by this is the people in the colonias. Everybody's sitting here worried about whose feelings are getting hurt taking sides because either they work for the developer or they don't like the developer. I really don't care. This is impersonal. This is business. The roads are damaged. The fire department had to rescue kids off a bus. Whether if it's on either of those roads, they're all no good. Why? An environmental study was not done and a traffic count wasn't done the way it should have been done. <laughs> And Thank where you. was everybody when we've been trying to fight this for the past three years? We've been fighting for three years, three years, and nobody showed up for Everybody's affected by it. Nobody showed up. We have been fighting for three years, and nobody showed up. Now you're showing up. That's right. You're not alone anymore. Thank you. First, we didn't know all of our rights. Second, there is a lot of people back there. There is a lot of people back there that they don't speak the language. Are you on the agenda? Lil Brian, when you become mayor, you can run these meetings. And if you can't keep your mouth shut, I'll ask an officer to send you out of here. Amen. Thank God. Are you, ma'am, are you signed up? And if you want another item put on the agenda, contact the city secretary. I gave you a number before I leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we will be glad to put it back and on there and you people can, can show up. Anybody we need people to help us back to put it on the agenda. They can, can all ask that it be put on the agenda for you. I'm going to run for mayor too next time. You come and live two years. Yep, I'm going to come. Thank Mr. You. Pierce, can I? I saw you back I'll there, and now I don't see Mike Pierce. Where are you at, Mike? Oh, right here. Right here. Hi, Mike. Your turn. Oh, oh, I can't hear. Good to see you back in here, Mike. One thing we need to do, y'all need to invest in a speaker system so everybody can hear. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm sitting there watching y'all's mouths, and I don't have, you know, clue what well, most of it's being said. And 
what I was going to speak about is not on the agenda. I heard something about the water well. No, That's no, what I. Yeah, no. That'll be addressed at the next meeting. Oh, I'm yeah, okay. regular meeting. Okay. So okay. the next oh, regular meeting. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And if I'll tell yes. Missy to go ahead for next meeting, and you would want it, it will Should be addressed. Check into a speaker system. <laughs> I'll translate. Speaking? Everybody can hear. Everybody can hear y'all. Are you saying I have a quiet voice, Mr. Pierce? <laughs> this young lady right here did the best. Thank you. <laughs> That's Mr. Pierce. Okay. He's been on council. You need to get to know yes. him, too. Mm -hmm. Charlie in love? I will give mine to Lou. They can. can. Yeah. 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 Is there anything you would like to say for no. against? Thank God for today. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> James Champion? Oh, wait. You're gonna wait till the next to the deal, okay? We got Donald, Danielle, and Mr. Champion that are waiting. Okay. Calvin Paget. I lived here for 20 years. It's a nice little town. I don't know any of y'all up there. I don't know Mr. Trey, but I'm telling you right now, if you had an agreement three years ago with the county. Why aren't the roads done? Number two, if you didn't approve the road to be opened, why is it built? How long did it take them to build it? I'm in construction. I can tell you it took them about six months. During that time, if you didn't approve of the road, why did it continue? Because, sir, we, were, we had no taxing here, and we operated off this very small budget. And the Colony Ridge bullied us knowing we didn't have the money to fight them in attorneys. So when I get asked, where does your tax money go? It goes to protect your city with attorneys like this and this. And now the attorneys are working on it. Okay, well, I, yeah, I'm we had to put the funding in place. I paid city taxes this year. Yeah. I expect the roads to be fixed. Are you going to fix the roads? No, sir, but I'm going to okay. do what I can to make sure they are. You're spending your money on this attorney it's not fixing the roads. Liberty County's not fixing the roads either. They're okay, not doing but you said a while ago that if Liberty County didn't fix the roads, that y'all were going to... We absorb. try. We only get half. We only have half. They okay, won't give us half the roads. We have patched. Don't, don't fix, uh, don't, don't, don't fix this road that way. If they fix. don't fix the drainage, it's not going to work. Anything ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. I disagree. I've well, lived here for 20 years. I've lived here for 71. Okay. So you approve the roads the way they are? No, I do not agree with the way What are you doing about it? There's nothing we can do about it. She's showing up at county meetings and fighting all the time. I, we are I, fighting I every day. I go to county commissioner's board, okay. and, they, and they don't do a bit of good. I pay taxes. Why do you do? Instead of spending money on a lawyer, I get it that you need a lawyer for certain things. But I think the money, the roads should take priority. Sir, so only have half the money to fix the roads. Fix half the roads. Sir, I've got a question. I've got a question for you. Okay. Okay. You're asking us stop, as, stop a, as a city. No, this is not your time. No. You're asking us as a city why do we don't fix the roads? Yes. Okay. You paid taxes one year for the city. How many years have you paid taxes to Liberty County? For twenty. Why haven't you been there to Five Commissioner's Court? To. Uh -huh. Can I answer that? Sure. Before y'all got in the office, the county took care of the roads. No, they didn't. No. No. Mm -hmm. no. When, when, when the, the commissioner, before he, be, before he left, he repaid that whole road. Whoever it was. No, okay, I'll tell you why, sir. Because in the year 2015, when Jay Knight became judge, and you got new commissioners over there, and Eddie Lowry replaced Boo Reeves, they changed no, their no, codes, no, no, no. and they said no, no more going out there and fixing Plum Grove's roads unless they can pay their half. That's not what I heard. Well, sir, I'm telling you the truth, truth. and I've got the yeah. minutes for all the meetings. And a meeting that you told the city, do not do anything else to my roads and stay out of my city because they approved no. the permits okay. and that. We Sir, have, that we is have, not true. Time is up. We and have your time is sent up. out paperwork, and we've had paperwork here proving that that is a false statement, and we've handed it out at several different meetings when this has hit the agenda. And if you'd like a copy again, of my 20 emails and all the meetings I've attended, you're more than welcome to them. Well, I, I haven't been up to speak okay, as excellent. to why we're closing the roads. Why are we closing the roads? 
the road that you're speaking of it is a better road and it helps okay. the traffic flow. So are we going to just shut that down and say, what the hell? Well, they're, sh they're certainly going to vote on that tonight, sir. Does, does the people get a vote? Mayor. No, sir. No. Does no. council vote? In November. Mayor. Mayor. Yes. Oh, well, we're not running in November. Public comment. It's not so much a public debate. Uh, okay. You can comment on what they say, answer some questions, but we need to stay away from it. Uh, and Laura Rendon, Laura Rendon, am I saying that correctly? R-E-N-D-O-N? Rendon? Laura Rendon? I can't hear her. She's been in the very back. Oh, if y'all hush, I might can hear. and all that so she can email them or call them. And thank you for coming and please come back.
Lena Lenya. L E E N A. Lenya. Lenya. Hello. Oh, come here, Maria, and help me with that name, please. Savanita Sanyas? Sanyas? Who would like to go first? I, I think we both we both came because I mean we everything was kind of thing. thrown out of context. We we right. it wasn't communicated correctly. Yeah. We're sitting yeah, here thinking whoever sent this did it did it. To I have to drive all the way to downtown for work. I start work at six o'clock. <laughs> I leave here at work. four thirty. You get work. But <laughs> I I do have I do I, I mean would. I'm with this gentleman here. I am concerned about. I have two teenagers that will be starting high school. And they, we've been living here for the past three years, and you know it's scary. Every year it gets worse. Every year that it floods, the buses. My daughter gets panic attacks. I have, um, I mean, luckily I have now a five-year-old that will be going to the Cottonwood Elementary, but the high schooler still has to travel, you know, some ways. Besides the fact that there's no lighting at the crossings, like where they have mm -hmm. to get on the bus, the kids are always almost being ran over. And I know that may not be on the agenda, but it, it all kind of fits in with the security and the safety of our children. You know, you don't even have half or even a quarter of the community here. And, you know, I, I understand but, but that. Wait, I, the things that are inside y'all's communities, that's different that than our roads. That's on there. They that's should have the lighting up there. That's our POA. That's yeah. our POA. Just so you know, and I will give you that information. So, th th and that's another yeah. thing. We're so new to this. This is the first time I even mm -hmm. attend one of these meetings. Right. So, yeah, definitely, just so we know, I mean, I, I think we would all as a community, you know, back you guys up if it was, you know, to, to, to fix those roads. As mm -hmm. Yeah, there will still be five roads, roads open. Yes, yes there will still be five roads open. You'll still have the two roads down before the detour. And, after. After the oh, and, and Hercules Drive. There will still be five ways out. So the main issue is that road that was built without any permission. permission. Yes. Will, will there be any maps or anything given out or yes, for, uh, yes. for us to know? Yes, I, mean, we can do that. I would hate to wake up at 4 a.m. and have I got you. <laughs> but thank you guys. Okay. Yes. We would never cut off all your entrances. We no. would never take thank away you for coming. emergency thank services you. or the school buses. We wouldn't do that. Um both of you, you don't have anything else to say? Okay. Elena. Elena, yes. All right. Luna, like moon. Jacob Clay. Where's my number? Yo tengo terreno allí. Tengo terreno, sí. I feel like maybe, you know, see my piece. I do feel like what was done to the subdivisions and done to Plum Grove is really unfair to all of us. You know, it's unfair to us in Plum Grove. It's unfair to everyone that has developed, you know, moved in the back because honestly we could not handle the influx of people that have come into this city. So it's unfair to y'all that that have paid a lot of money to move into the subdivisions and and you're in the same position that we are. One thing that I, I do want to, I think, I, hey, you're awesome up there because we need to start working together. Mm -hmm. yes. And um, one thing I want to ask, Leanne, I know that we're responsible for 50% and the, the county, which we're getting absolutely nothing, just in case y'all want to know, absolutely nothing from the county. So uh, on, on that, is the developer uh, <coughs> responsible with the influx of people? Could he help out at all? Like with our 50%, since he, he's making money off of... Can we talk to you about that later? Okay. Yeah, we will, and, and Jake, if you will soon have, um, I don't think anybody's running against you in the election, and you will soon have access to all of the information, and I have it lined out where it speaks for itself. Yeah, I mean, just even like this morning, I, I almost hit a vehicle that was pulling off that new road. Yep. I mean, they're not stopping. They're coming no, to stop no. Time. They're they like, do not. Yeah, they do not there. stop. They no, do not stop. stop. So I, I, I got a brand spanking new sixty-four thousand dollar truck, and I was an inch off of plowing yep. over somebody that didn't Every day. stop. They pulled on out. But um, one thing that I did want to suggest, uh, if the developer was to ever come back and work with y'all on that, I think that, and if it was done legally, open the road legally, that maybe mm -hmm. there should have been a turning lane put in there, and, and he sacrificed his land, lane, uh, the land, to put in the turning lane. 
Jacob, we have given him, he has sent many of his representatives to give that presentation. We've asked for one thing over the last two years. If Colony Ridge would give us a written estimate on what they would like to repair and the county match it, and um, we we'll, have to get it. we'll be happy to sit down at any time. And send it through a contract to our attorneys. We want our we we want attorneys, attorneys to work that out. Work. Yeah, we want our attorneys to work that out so the roads are built legally and up to code. We and I mean, no offense, but I don't want Boo Reeves and one of the Colony Ridge people saying, well, let's just throw this road down, and the next time it's covered in water, it gets undermined easily. We want it to be done right. But is that what you're needing? That is what we're needing. To come yes. up with yes. a better name plan. And we have asked for that many Wait, times. Hey, let me, say, wants to let me say something. I don't think anybody on this council is opposed or opposes to working with Trey Harris. No. Yeah. <laughs> they don't. Okay. I'm not saying nothing. You didn't sign up. I it's too late. You have to be here. The problem is, everything that Trey Harris told us that he would do, he has not done one of them. Nope. And we did it on a handshake deal, which is stupid. And there's a development agreement that... Hold on, let me talk. Let me talk. Okay? I don't have a problem with Trey Harris. <laughs> if Trey Harris will do what Trey Harris says he'll do. Trey Harris, don't do what Trey Harris tells, says he does. Well, he'll do. And let me just ask you this. By show of hands, the people that lives out there, does Trey Harris do do what he tells you he's going to do? No. Mm -mm. no. I'm sorry? No. 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 We're talking to people that lives in his subdivision. I live out there. Does he do, does he do for you what he tells you he's going to do? Yes, sir. <laughs> but he don't do it for everybody so else. He doesn't no. I believe he does. There's a reason. Hold on. I'm no, I'm talking right now. For three minutes. Okay. And you've already talked. My, my point is, Trey doesn't do what Trey says he's going to do. Now, Trey wants to come to this council, and he wants to come to an agreement and a contract. We're more than happy to do that. But Trey won't come in here and do that. Now, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I am so sick and tired of fighting. She said you have... Uh, teenage daughters. Mm -hmm. I have kids that drive that road right out there to go to school. Me too. And the road, the illegal road, y'all can shake your head. You can say you. we didn't approve it. If he would have went about it the right way, we would have approved it. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't go about things the right way. Nope. It doesn't need well, plain and simple. Yet. If he wants to do things right, we can work with him. Well, but he doesn't do things approved. right, sir. What approval is needed? Well, it's it too late. Engineer specs. Army Corps. Army Corps. I mean, Corp sir, yes. I, I'll give you for instance. Who does the inspections? We Girl have people that do the inspections. We have an inspection for the that works for us. The I problem is. The, house, I have an inspection one. the problem is. Did you come to the city and get any of your permits? No. We, we bought our permit before y'all started collecting money for permits. Okay. okay. Well, well, then your grandfather did. Permit. Then your grandfather did. Your grandfather did. Grandfather so, mm -hmm. I mean, your point is null and void. I mean, you have no dog in the hunt on that. Now you do. You build now, you got to get a permit. But then you didn't have to. If Trey Harris wants to work with us, we'll work with Trey Harris. But it's going to be on paper. Yep. It's going to be our attorney and his attorney. And in the past, he hadn't done it. I'll give you, for instance, he cut all the trees down. He wasn't supposed to cut the trees down. But Trey Harris does what Trey Harris wants to do. He put a road in when he wasn't supposed to put a road mm -hmm. in, but Trey Harris did. Why did the inspections come into play? We're not on inspections. That's not on this agenda. We're talking about what's a... Sir, no. My point is this. My point is this. No, it doesn't. No, because the roads are messed up because these roads are not built for all those people. And we don't... We, we're glad that those people are here. Some of the people live there. What are you going to do? If... The developer here. Nobody can go to their house. Trey We're going on four roads over there, sir. And, and, four I, and roads. I'll tell you this. Five. The road closing is better than the other roads that they have to drive around. Where do you travel? 
I no, travel no. right down that road. Okay. okay. That's why you want the road. Okay. But what about us who travel the main road? We don't travel the Okay. So we travel down Plum Grove. Okay. The point is this. Mr. Mr. Colbert is talking right now. You talk about the 50%. Okay? Our interlocal agreement says we provide 50%, they provide 50%. It doesn't say we provide 50% of money or manpower. Okay? We finally got on the agenda, and they wanted to try to strong arm us by saying we couldn't provide the manpower and the labor because they knew we couldn't come up with the money to do it. Do you it. have a signed agreement? Yes, we yes. have a sign, sir. We've sign always agreement? had a sign. No, no, no. no. Our previous. council did not sign the agreement. Council. That's, That's the misconception yeah. that these yeah. people have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Council Mountain Fire. Okay. Okay. Interrupted by the interlocal agreement. It's not on the agenda. Right. We can't discuss that. We need to stick well, to. Well, wait a minute. If it's not signed, we're fighting about all this. Why no, it is. Sign it? it is it signed, is sir. Signed. It was signed by Boo Reeves, Larry McMillan, Judge Knight, <laughs> Stephanie Denman, and the Who county clerk. Huh? Who from the city? That's Larry McMillan. That was your council. She's the mayor at the time. You've been living here for 20 years, sir. You should know he was the mayor before her. I don't need to be involved until okay. I'm tired of my we have to stop. Stop. Okay. That's enough. We're going to go. We're going to move on down the agenda. Now agenda, we're at number six. And I have seat. three people. Danielle. Um, who, who do I have? I'm around Paul Campbell Loop, around by the old city hall and everywhere else down on that end. Listen. Trey Harris is the cause of all of this. If you notice, I'm putting in a new road right beside the road that y'all drive down. I'm putting it in. I've talked to Trey Harris in the past about his road being two lanes coming in, my road being two lanes coming out. We talked about it before I ever started building the road. He said, yeah, it's going to be a good idea. He got mad the other day. We have two driveways on that road. He got mad because the people that I sold the front land to was using it for their dump trucks to come in and out of. That he had given permission to do. Mm -hmm. He called me and said, you stop those effing dump trucks. I said, Trey, I, I don't own that land. I don't own it. I sold it to those other folks. Well, you're going to stop it or I'm going to pull up both of your cupboards. So he showed up. Next day he showed up, I'm going to pull up your cupboard. And I said, look, man, don't do this. I said, we can work this thing out. His very words to me, if you... F your family and F Plum Grove. I do what I want when I want it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a guy that y'all are talking about. And it's on video. On that road. Mm -hmm. I never said nothing ugly to the man that's on video. Y'all can watch it on video. I never said nothing to him. I said, look, don't do this. It's going to cause all kinds of problems. I, you want to know why that road was open out there? You're looking at him right here. I went before this city council, and I asked them, please open the road to take the pressure off Paul Campbell Loop. I said, let him run it. Let him run it, because I'd already talked to him about putting the other road down beside it. But now he's doing all of this, causing all these problems, folks. Now we're going to close the road? Why? If y'all got, got a problem, y'all need to talk to him about it. They, they didn't vote to open the road to start with. It was just me going between them to ask them to. They never voted to open the road. They voted to close the road. Not even let him open the road. Not even let him open the road, period. What's wrong with the road? Sir, we've answered that. Your three minutes are up. Your con the congestion from that road. Do you drive these roads all the time? Because I do. I'm, wait a minute. My three minutes ain't up yet. My three minutes ain't up yet. Listen, nobody wants to close the road. Nobody wants to close the road. But how else are you going to bring him to the table and make him negotiate with you? Anybody got any ideas? We've asked That's him. That's not why we're doing it. You're hurting all these people by closing that road. You're hurting him. I understand that. But we're not hurting him. He's hurting him. How do we it's get his people. We don't want to close the road. He does. He's the one that just put a big sign out there today that said private road. Did you see a sign? Yes, I did. He put that up today. I didn't put it up. He did. He put that sign up, folks. Hold on. Everybody, this is a measure that we're putting into place. If he don't but want the road closed, the he will come talk to the city no or sit down with the year. city. It's for no longer than a year, but we anticipate it being less. We anticipate it being less. Whatever, what it, that's up with him. It could happen anything. tomorrow. It could happen tomorrow. He could come and say, well, well, let's help you fix the other roads. Don't. And we could get it all done. It Don't. could happen. Your three minutes is up. Okay. All right. Thank you, Donald. Danielle. 
Danielle, your turn. All right, you're not going to speak. Okay, well then we're going to carry on on this agenda. Now, is anybody on this that I didn't let speak? Anybody? Okay, don't go back and put that on. They had to be signed up. They had to be signed up. Did anybody sign up that didn't get to speak? When they came in? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got the question. I need a translator. Somebody. I, I, I'm not speaking very good. Okay. Pero yo hablo por ti. ¿Está la lista? No. No. Okay. 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 No, 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 soy, no soy en la lista. Oh. Esa, 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 es, esa es la razón. Entonces, ¿para qué están llamando a una reunión? A las siete. Si no, si no tenemos nosotros para, para, para poder hablar, no todos podemos firmar la, la, el papel. Ellos llegan aquí antes de las siete y dejan. Ese, ese, ese. ¿Cuáles son los requisitos? Ellos pueden ponerlo en la agenda, ellos pueden con la otra. Yo me, yo me, nomás, nomás lo que yo quiero decir es todo. Ok. Más lo que quiero decir yo. El diseño que tienen en la calle no sirve para los tráficos que pasan. He says the design you guys have here doesn't hold the volume, this traffic. He it says, never was supposed to. Yeah. yeah. En las otras calles que hicieron, la nueva que hicieron, okay. tampoco sirve, sirve de nada. He says even his new roads are no good. Don't let him do the roads. Okay, and we're going to go on. If anybody has anything to say, speak now or hold your peace. If you interrupt this time, if you interrupt this meeting from here on out, the officers are here. And I will do something I've never done before. I've never asked anybody to leave a meeting, Danielle and I don't want to, to either. Danielle, do you want to talk now? Yes, ma'am. All right, come <laughs> on up here. I just wanted to say I have these cards with Trey's number in Torino, Houston. So if they have a problem with anything that's going on, they can give us a call. Okay. Awesome. So they want Very number, good. I'll pass Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And if y'all need my phone number, the city number's posted. Y'all call Missy, and I'll call y'all back quickly. Okay. I'm always available to y'all. I have another job, but as soon as I'm available, anybody at this table will speak to you one-on-one. -on -one. We ask when we leave here, please don't come up to two of us at one time because we'd be breaking the Open Meetings Act. Okay? You needed to be here on time and sign up to speak. Yeah, me too. Me too. So, no, he spoke to her. So, we're going forward. Number six, consideration, discussion, and possible action for ordinance number 08-17-2020, an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Plum Grove, Texas, establishing the temporary closure of the following street intersections located within the city limits of the City of Plum Grove, Texas in order to ensure public safety and make improvements necessary to the general welfare of the public. 1A, Paul Campbell Loop. 2, a portion of the intersection of County Road 5017, also known as Santa Rosa, and County Road 37 North, also known as Paul Campbell Loop, and a portion of the intersection of Plum Grove Road and County Road 5000, also known as San Marcos, containing, but you tell you wrote this, it's got all kinds of legal terms <laughs> in it, containing findings and provisions relating to the subject, providing for severability, providing for repeal, providing for a penalty, and providing for an effective date. Now, Council, I ask you all to look within your heart and I'm going to say it again. Here's the map. We all know how bad the intersection is. Mm -hmm. Now, when that road backs up at 3 o'clock, Monday through Friday, there's going to be 30 or 40 buses. They're all going to line up down this road. First 18 wheeler that comes around, whether it's hauling logs or bricks or rock or mobile home, 
is going to run right into those buses parked right out here. Mm -hmm. How many of you tried to make the transition and almost wrecked? Secondly, that road was installed without the permission of the city of Plum Grove and was absolutely told no by unanimous vote and in Colony Ridge style, they did it anyway and opened it illegally. I've had 75 wrecks by my house. The road that she's discussing, the Montebello entrance, has had 75 wrecks on the road to Montebello in four years. Paul Campbell-Lutz Road, Santa Rosa, we cannot hold the traffic in front of the, on the Paul Campbell Loop coming across the Orange Branch. There's a, basically one, one way, and it's torn up. There is a road on Paul Campbell Loop that has a cul-de-sac yes. for people who live in the new communities. We're leaving that road open. The roads that will remain open will be the roads down at the detour. So when we have congestion and lots of traffic, You'll be in on that end of the city, and you won't be affecting the road up here. And it is a temporary road closure. You'll still have two entrances in at the detour, two entrances out, exits out at the detour and entrances, and then you have a brand new road out there Hercules. called Hercules Drive, and Hercules goes to every road out there. The, all five of the roads we're leaving open service that whole community. The gates that will be installed are breakaway gates. In the event there's a fire or your child or you need the fire department, they have our permission to roll right through them to go save lives and fight fires. They have a key in every truck. And they have a key there. to open them. You're not, they're not going to be shut down to the fire department. The schools were called today. I happen to be very good friends with Susan Ard, the school secretary. We had a very civil conversation today. She's going to talk to Chris Wood, the president of the board, and he is going to make sure that Superintendent Trotter knows, and he's going to know and let the bus barn know, and the children will go through those entrances. You're still going to be able to come out and come down Plum Grove Road. We're aware that there are two spots with their runoff. Those are going to be the first spots Mr. Enlow hits, fixing so two vehicles can come together. That road is no more dangerous than Paul Campbell Loop or right there in Freddie Reeves. Now, is there anybody that wants to talk to me at this council about the road? Mary Lou? No, I understand it totally. Ronnie, you live across from it. Diana? Sharon? Nope. And I know how Barbara Martin yes. Morris feels. So I'm going to ask for a motion for number six to approve ordinance. Now, Carl, do you want me to read the whole thing verbatim like I did? Or do you just want to read approving the ordinance? No, what you wrote on the agenda. Oh, what do I legally have to do a motion? You've already read it, so you just need to make a motion. I make a motion that we accept it. And I will second that motion. The second comes from Sharon Reed. Now I'm going to ask you, Ronnie Culberson, how do you vote? Yes. Mary Lou, how do you vote? Yes. All opposed? There are no nays. Oh, we need to get a roll call from this team. Is there a motion and second? Is it yeah. Yeah. Motion and second? And yeah. you approve it? Yep. Yes. The motion carries. Number seven, consideration, discussion, and possible actions to purchase signage for the road closures and detours. I'll make a motion that we... Well, let's talk about uh, what we're well, going to do in Santa Rosa. Well, well, we need, you know, what signs we're getting. We just need to have road closure signs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just need to have detour mm -hmm. signs. Pretty plain. Mm -hmm. Me and Donald will... And we will do the signs in English and Spanish. Yes. And we will try to get signs that people can't steal. We'll try to we're, do We're going to have cameras on the road closures. And there will be cameras on the road closures. After this weekend, yeah. we have to. There and so go. that we'll know... Do your gavel. Get control. <laughs> And we will go, um, there will be security cameras on the gates. We've already had someone illegally tear up one of our gates in the twice city now. twice. And we will be handling that in the legal procedures as the week comes. To make an example of, if you tear up city property, you will be prosecuted. 
So, can I get a motion for signage? And it shouldn't be that many, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just I'll make a motion that uh, we get purchase signage for road closures and detours. Can I get a second? Okay, we're going to go with Mary Lou second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, motion carried. Number eight, consideration and discussion and possible action to pay for labor of installation of said signs and barriers. Said signs and barriers being what we discussed in the one before it. Number seven. Yeah. Just need a motion. I make a motion that we pay for the labor to have the installations for the signs and barriers. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The motion carries. Ten, consideration, discussion, and possible action to purchase lodge boulders to secure the perimeter of City Hall and the fire station. We're doing that here on the per perimeter of the fire station when you come around the corner and here to protect the firefighters. We've had people going through. When they, when they have a wreck here at the Triangle and they're blocking it off with their two biggest fire trucks, there are still people going around. We've had a mm -hmm. firefighter hit. So we, we're just, those boulders are the property. And um, to my knowledge, I think the fire department, because people, the construction crews and the mobile homes that have been going through our city, one, are not getting permits, and two, they're cutting across the fire department's private property, and they're destroying their property. So I do believe that the fire department's going to take the next set necessary steps to put up boulders around their property. Just need a motion. I just need a motion. Ronnie made the motion. I'll second. Mary Lou second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You skip number nine. Well, then I'll come back to it. All opposed? Motion carries. Number nine, construction, I mean consideration, consideration, discussion, and possible action to purchase ten loads of gravel and dirt to perform road repairs and labor within the city limit. That's to make the road that y'all are going to be driving on not as bumpy and not as many potholes. And however long it lasts with all the dirt trucks, and commercial trucks running up and down it. Would that just be a one-time uh, payment, or is that a constant fix? As it goes. As it goes. Oh, and, I mean, we've done a couple of them already. It'll uh -huh. be as we go. Okay. 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 So hmm? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes ma'am. And I make a motion that we uh, uh, purchase ten loads of gravel uh -huh. and dirt. Awesome. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Ten, consideration, discussion, and possible action. I've oh, already done that. Eleven, consideration and discuss possible action to accept bids to place ten road signs in the city limits. Now, I was under the impression. There was only one bid. No, that was a bid from the other ones because we still need signs on 343 that say no through trucks. And there's no speed limit sign over there. And there needs to be signs put on this stop sign saying no left turn. There needs to be a sign put over down here that says no left turn. Because, yeah, they're sitting at the stop sign headed towards Splendora. And the 18 wheelers are coming from Cleveland and turning on top of you. Right. We're going to direct yeah. traffic. I got you. So, um, Mike could put the bid in. Mike could put the bid He's in. He's the only one that put a bid in. I put it on Facebook. Nobody else did. Micah, you put the bid in? My, Micah. Mike. Michael. Mike. That's you. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Thank you for all of that. It's got to stick to the fact that you're going to be placing. And you're going to be placing the signs. Yes. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm saying we got to stick to the fact that all this item is about is just whether or not y'all want to go out for bids. Well, we did go out for bid. And he got it. He got it. To accept bids. Yeah, right. he's accepted, yeah, he accepted yeah. his bid. I just I got it on last agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a motion to accept it? I'll make a motion that we accept the bid. Second. Oh. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Charlotte Kay's holding up her hand now, and she signed up to speak. So Charlotte Kay. How do you see that? I don't understand this. When you pull up to the stop sign out here, you're not going to be able to turn. Well, it, when the 18 wheelers come through with the trailer house, and they're turning left, and a car coming from Splendora runs underneath them, we need something to... So like a turning lane or what? No, we need them to know they can't turn left from the stop sign to go to Splendora. They're getting so hung up. We've road. had whole trailer okay, houses. You've seen them. Uh, maybe I don't understand. You've seen the whole trailer house fall Absolutely. off of them. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Day the after day after day. But what I don't understand, when we go up to the stop sign out here, are we, if you want to go to Splendora, you're not going to be able to? Well, you live there. 
I'm, I'm, yeah. That's what I'm explaining yeah. a little better. Okay. Well, Charlie, okay, we were first. You're going to the swing you door. You go down to the turning road and go straight. As opposed well, because to the road's fixed right now, it doesn't have a lot. Of Instead of coming this way and turning back in front of the ground. And we're still going to get away from the ground. Okay. We'll go down to the country road and take another right. Come out there. They don't want you coming out of your house and turning back this way. Because they can work here. That will be illegal. Explain that again. No. <laughs> I'm not getting <laughs> Don't turn left. <laughs> Charlotte K, there's gonna because of the way the traffic and the and the danger right here and the fire truck. Yes. When you come up to this main road, there'll be no more turning here. Left. You got to Oh, right here. You'll go out to the main road. <laughs> And then if you're going straight, you go to the stop sign. But there'll also be there'll also be no right turns onto when you go around the curve, they're not gonna be able to turn right on that left on that road. Okay. Can I say one thing? Yes, sir. How are the fire trucks gonna do? They're gonna have to come up here, go across, turn back right there and come. And turn back right here. Oh, no, the fire truck. No, Alan, they're safety vehicles. They can use the road. They can go anywhere. So they can turn left right there. Right. They're there. coming back into their station. Okay. I yeah, because they can't turn right if they go that way. <laughs> Unless they had to go down there for a wreck or something. No, I'm talking about just to go back to the county road. But yeah. Fire trucks can turn right here. Yes, they yeah. come across. Okay. They, their driveways are right here. Put them in more danger to no. no, 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 no. They're still going to be able to come because their their driveway lines up to it. Okay. Yeah, number twelve. Let's go. That one passed. Twelve. Just need a motion on twelve. Consideration, discussion, and possible action to place bids. Yeah. Consideration, discussion, and possible action to place bids for clearing debris from culvert number one listed on the city's DRR 4332 damage inventory list. We are going to be placing out for bids to start tearing. We are going to be placing it up for bid to start clearing the debris out of the detour. detour because we are at the point now where the county and the EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers is finally going to be getting our desktop study, which is for flooding. It shows how much water that is going through that drain now. And so we're going to start clearing it out, and we're going to see what all that takes. Because so much sewer is illegally running through that ditch, the numbers are much higher than it should be legally. Mm -hmm. It's going to take hazmat crews, people in hazmat, they're saying that they're probably, um, they want cranes, all kinds of things. Yeah. And so Missy has mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. from FEMA, and I just need an approval to put that out for bid. I make a motion that we put this out for bid as a possible action of uh, clearing the debris from the culvert number one listed in the FEMA DR 432 damage inventory list. And I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Mm -hmm. All Aye. opposed? The motion carries. Consideration and possible action to approve surveillance equipment for road closures. James. He gave y'all brochures. Yes. And this is what these are specifically for. Yes, ma'am. This is James. He is over our computer or IT. He handles our security features things of that nature, pass pads to get into the new city hall, all of the cameras we've installed in city hall, and Mike, the speaker system for city hall, <laughs> we handle all of those things. So this is more than just for road closures. These things, they're purchased by the city. Mm -hmm. Now, once all this is died out and over, these things left. They're, they're German engineered cameras. They're fully self-sufficient with solar panels, with battery backup gives you three to four days of battery backup if you have bad weather, things like that. Now we have problems for in the community after all this is over through the city. They can be moved around from spot to spot, set up, remote viewed to check on, you know, trouble areas that pop up in the community. This is an investment for the community, essentially from the city head. If, if they decide
decide to go with it, not just for road closure. It's something that can be moved out to where crime comes up as a problem throughout the neighborhood, anything like that. Could you get us a breakdown on cost? Yes. That would be great. Did you go look at the three areas that we I, were talking I did, about? And Ronnie gives permission for his the pole to go in his yard. Charles at the Montebello gave his permission for a road closure. Road closure I mean, for the yeah. cameras. Yeah. And, and then yours would have to go in your yard for the other one. And what we well, have here, um, I don't yeah, know if any of you remember, but it, we, last summer we had a couple of young girls that claimed to be abducted, if you remember, in the new community. To my knowledge, I think they were with their boyfriends and they were found and they came home. But we were able with our our systems of cameras, because we all got cameras years ago, we were able to look on our cameras and we were able to tell them that no white band came out of Montebello, no white band came out of Camino Real, no white band came down by Wayne Woods property. And so then as they went further, they could look over and they realized that, that, that no one had left in a white van. Of course, there's lots of white vans out there, but what had been described had not passed. So and you so want a breakdown from him? We want a breakdown. If you'll have it ready for the regular uh, meeting, that would be which great. Which will be in two weeks. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'll be ready. Okay, we'll okay. table Thank that to the breakdown. And we want the, commu the cameras so in the community because we can see if someone's abducted and, and they're going different ways, or if there's a wreck and there's a hit and run, we're going to be able to see what's going on in the community to help law enforcement. Oh, no, we need to table it until the next deal. Yeah, we're tabled it. we got to what? If we're going to table it, we need a motion. Okay, let's make a motion to table that. I'll make a motion that we table to the next meeting. Till the next meeting, the action to approve the surveillance equipment for road closures. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Now, which one of y'all is going to make a motion to I'll adjourn? Make a motion to shut this down. Okay, Ronnie said motion to adjourn. Can I get a second? Mary Lou seconded. All in favor? Aye. All carried. One of these days before I leave, I want somebody to just sit there and go, no, I don't want to adjourn. I want to stay in place.